everybody. Welcome to another episode of MagicReviewed.com. Uh, today we're going to talk about, um, there's an effect by uh, Bob Neal and Eugene Berger that um, is a story of the plague and it's done with playing cards spread face down on the table and uh, the spectator points to two possible victims of the plague by pointing to two playing cards and then you eliminate one as the dead person and then you continue doing that back and forth between you and the spectator um, and where you point to two, she eliminates one, she points to two, you eliminate one until there's all the cards are gone except for one. All the cards that are dead, you turn them over and they're all uh, face cards or they're all red or something like that. But the one card that's left is the death card, the ace of spades. That's the one that survived. No matter which cards your spectator eliminates or whatever, you're always ending up with the death card. Now, um, this next part I'm about to tell you is sort of a quasi-disclaimer. Uh, based on that effect by Neil and Berger, I had the idea of why not apply that to tarot cards? I mean, what the perfect story. So I came up with a routine using the thir 13 of the major Arcano uh, tarot cards. And they, uh, the, the key to this kind of effect, it's all about the story and the presentation. So I came up with what I felt were some pretty clever lines for each card as it's eliminated in the process. And it's been in my repertoire for a very long time, for years and years and years. So I love that effect. I love the idea. Well, recently, a guy by the name of Martin Mercy uh, advertised a product. And I think I'm on his newsletter or something. That's how I saw it. And it was it's called Soul Survivor, which I believe is the actual same name as the Burger Neal effect. And it uses tarot cards. And so I, I saw that in the, the video. I was like, oh, bummer. I was one of these days I wanted to maybe publish my version in a book or something. So I contacted Martin Mercy and uh, to tell him, hey, I love the idea. I've had a similar idea and I've been doing it for years. And uh, he, I said, I'm thinking of publishing it someday in the future. And he said, yeah, that's totally fine. He had, I mean, he was a very cool guy, very cool about it. and was not at all, you know, an issue with me publishing it in the future if I wanted to. So anyway, uh, long story short, uh, after that email exchange, he sent me for free a set of the cards that he uses in his effect to do the, the trick. He sent them to me for review. So here's what you get. You get the horsemen. These are not actual tarot cards, but they're tarot style. You get the horseman, you get the uh, the farmer, the young maiden, the young boy, the blacksmith, the old maid. These are all people that are supposedly, you know, villagers in this village that the plague comes and visits and destroys. And so they're all spread on the table face down and mixed up and you go through that process I described a moment ago. And when all is said and done, all of these guys die and what's left face down that has not died is the fate card. Now, um, so that's the basic effect. Now, first of all, look at those cards. Very beautiful colors, colorful. And then the death card is a black and white, clear contrast to the others. So it adds that extra punch at the end to, that makes it very clear that that's what the effect was, that somehow we never made the death card die or the fate card die, that the villagers died. Um, so I love the idea. I love the effect. But again, what do I review here? Do I review effects, people? No, I don't. I review method, ad copy, product quality. And so um, as great as this effect is, I love this effect. There were some issues in the product quality and the ad copy. Uh, I'll get to those in a moment. But know this, I still gave it four stars, stone status of gem. Um, so this, the reason I told you the story that I of my own creation of a, a similar effect is I, I just want to get it out, put it out there. And I know some of you are going to think, well, that's why you didn't give it a good rating, Jeff, is because you, you, know, you, you thought of it too or whatever. And that's not it, guys. It's just not. It's not the way it is. Um, if I were going to be that petty, I would just give this zero stars or whatever. But I'm not, because it is a really good product. Okay, First of all, the card quality is excellent. These are very well-made cards, and uh, they're, they, they're very, they got a nice coating or something on them, a nice finish. So they spread nice and smooth, and they're just, they're, they're, they're the, uh, bigger than a deck of cards, but not quite the size of uh, like a regular traditional tarot card. Tarot cards are a little bit longer, a little bit more awkward to handle. So I really like this. And I'm even considering swapping these out for my, um, the, you know, my little packet of 13 that I carry around uh, when I do that effect. So I'm thinking about um, swapping them out. So the quality is good. No questions there. Uh, so product quality, solid. 
uh, except for a problem with the instructions, which we're going to cover right now. Um, so the instructions are, this is it. This is what you get, this sheet of paper. That's it. That's all you get. So now let me just tell you this. The first part here is basically a history of the effect and talks about um, how he came to, the, you know, his, uh, how the effect evolved over time, how he went from the playing card version by Neil and Berger to trying it with regular tarot cards and to eventually coming up with his own sort of custom tarot cards. So that's that. So that's not even instructions. This, I'm going to cover the little playing cards thing here, but this section here is basically a, a theory of what the, the method, which is the patio force, uh, and that's he says that in the ad trailer, so I don't have any problem exposing that. Um, but that's the method, is the patio uh, technique. And this is him just basically giving the basic theory of what the patio is. The problem is, if you read that, and you've never heard of the patio um, technique, you might be very confused when you read this. Um, it's kind of confusing to read it not not knowing what patio really is. Um, it's, you know, read it a couple times and it becomes a little more clear. Um, and there is a typo in here. And, you know, typically a typo isn't a problem for me, even if there's a lot of them, as long as it doesn't impact the, your ability to uh, clearly understand the instructions. And this is a case where it does actually um, make the instructions a little less clear. So he says, um, when you select the two card, you are in control. What is the two card? There's the fate card, there's the old May card, there's the blacksmith card, and so on. But what's the two card? It's the two cards, is what he meant to say. And which is, again, is fine. And it, it was, I knew it was a typo. I had to think about it at first when I read it, but I, I figured out that it was a typo um, because I'm familiar with the patio thing. If you're not familiar with it, that might confuse you. So I, I gave it a little bit of a hit on that. And then after you read that, then you come to the back here, and it's basically his script or his presentation of the, of the effect. And so going into this as somebody who's never heard of patio, doesn't know what it is, doesn't know how to use it, and reading this, I think you would have a hard time fully grasping the concept and you'd be a little bit confused. However, you watch the video a couple times, which is just the ad trailer. It doesn't come with a video. But you watch the ad trailer video a couple times, read this a couple times, and you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, so you took a little bit of a hit on the product quality because of that, because this is all you're getting for $20, which is not a terrible price considering that this was, he hired an artist to draw these and, and uh, you know, then get to print it and stuff. And so just for his cost of goods alone, that's, that's a reasonable, um, I think, a fair markup. But I think a little bit more care in the instructions would have been better. Um, the last thing, the ad copy integrity. Uh, the ad copy was fine. I, I, there was really not much written ad copy. But the video, there was one problem. If you're familiar with the patio presentation, uh, the patio technique, at the end of patio, it's, there's always going to be two cards left on the table. And you'll say to your spectator, point to any two cards and I'll eliminate one. That's how the, the how the proceedings go, and in this case, you're saying point to two people, and I'll turn one over, and that'll be the person who died. Well, obviously, with the two cards on the table, the spectator can only point to those two because there's only two left, um, and that's how the patio thing goes. Well, what he did in the video is is, is clever, uh, but he doesn't teach it. That's the problem. And what he did was he let the spectator choose which card to turn over. Now. If you're in the know and you're familiar with equivocal techniques, it's very obvious what he did. But if you're not in the know and you're and you're maybe new to magic or you're just unfamiliar with with those types of procedures, you you won't know how he was able to get away with having the spectator turn over the the last card rather than you being the one to turn it over. And that's fine if he taught it in the instructions, but he does not teach in the instructions. So that's a piece that's missing. So you can't actually end it the way he ended it in the video based on the instructions given to you. Now, I'm pretty confident that most people watching this are going to look at the video that he did and know, oh, yeah, I know what he did there. And, and you're fine and you can do it. And in fact, anybody who's ever used patio has possibly ended the routine the way he did. 
but just for the sake of clarity, um, you do not learn that ending in this booklet, this paper, I should say. Now, the way it's taught in here, however, it is a little unclear in here, and you have to read it a few times, but the way it's taught in here is fine, and it's the way that most people end patio anyway, so it's fine. So, all in all, this is a good product. I, I'm recommending it, especially if you can see this kind of thing in your repertoire, and I think there's a lot of advantages of what he's done here. Um, my tarot deck, the contrast is not as clear as this with these beautiful colors and then the dark um, black and white style of this of the, the Reaper card. It's not as clear in my deck, and I wish that mine was more like this. Um, so the product quality is excellent. Just the instructions are a little weak, and the ad copy had that one little hit. When all is said and done, final verdict, four stars, stone status of gem. Take a minute to like the, the video and or my channel and subscribe and so on and so forth. While you're doing that, listen to this. Oh, yeah. Meatloaf, baby. <laughs> Paradise by the Dashboard Light. I will post a video to this in the description. Make sure you go watch it. It's awesome. Um, if you're not familiar with that song, uh, the premise is, um, yeah, it's a little risque, but uh, it's him and his girlfriend in high school making out in the car, and he's trying to push her to go all the way. And uh, he, she says, no, not unless we're going to get married. And he's, they, they keep debating back and forth, and finally he says, fine, let's get married. And then uh, that's so. There's that's act one is him trying to go there. Act two is the argument about getting married and him finally giving in. And then act three is where he's regretting every moment of everything, regretting having the relationship with her, regretting um, marrying her, and then just uh, you know in the second uh, act he says, "I'm going to love you till the end of time." But now I'm praying for the end of time to hurry up and arrive. So it's very um, satirical and. Um, you know, maybe a little dark, but it's funny, but it also has a, you can see a good message in there about, um, you know, instant gratification and the regrets that may come with it. Anyway, enough preaching, enough teaching, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.